Well, that's right, Ken. We certainly live in a very unique area because all around the Bay Area, people are working right now to uh, better detect and solve some of the problems associated with the novel coronavirus that uh, could ultimately lead to a vaccine. Researchers at this biotech lab in Redwood City are testing a new and portable electronic device that promises to quickly and accurately detect the sequence of the DNA of the novel coronavirus. DNA sequencing is the process of reading effectively the code of DNA. You can see like in this double helix DNA, you have the ATCGs that you wanted to read effectively what the DNA makeup is. Hassan Asfandiarpour and his team at Genapsis have shrunk the normally refrigerator size DNA sequencing devices into a new form factor that fits into a backpack. It uses the power of modern microprocessors instead of bulky optics or lasers to electronically detect strains or mutations of the virus. You want it to better understand what exactly going on and also be able to use it for both for developing a better vaccines uh, and the treatment for that and of course for the screening and detection purposes. Genapsis is currently in talks with the Chinese Centers for Disease Control to have several devices shipped overseas to support emergency efforts on the ground there. Meantime, doctors at UCSF are working with Mammoth Biosciences in South San Francisco to simplify the diagnostic tests for novel coronavirus, which could soon be used in walk-in clinics. We want to make it a, a, a single reaction that can be run in a tube, and we want to make the readout as simple as a urine pregnancy, similar to a urine pregnancy test where you would have a color change that would show whether or not a patient was infected. The CDC has also now certified 16 state labs in California, including this one in Richmond, to test for the novel coronavirus. Samples used to have to be sent to a lab in Atlanta, which took a week to get results. The new procedure could get results back to California doctors and patients in two days. And with many of the cases in uh, the U.S. being in California and a few here in the Bay Area as well, it makes a lot of sense to have that testing uh, facility able to handle tests and get back to uh, the uh, doctors and the patients in this area a lot more quickly. That lab is scheduled to begin testing next Wednesday. Reporting live in Redwood City, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.